Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 267. Wow. All right, every time it feels big. All right, it's September, halfway through September. That also feels kind of strange. Time just keeps flying by, I guess. All right, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. But if you're watching this, you knew that. Let's go ahead and jump into what we're talking about. I was talking before the meeting started that I don't think we're gonna have a long meeting. Okay, I don't think we will. Because uh, if you're here, go ahead and say hi. We had a bunch of people talking in the chat. It's great. Great to see all of you guys here. Good, good, good. Um, what are we going to talk about? A Wix uh, 402 release. That should have a D on the end of it because it is done. We'll talk about that real quick. And then we'll do issue triage. And then we'll answer questions, comments, and things that people want to talk about at the end of this. So I think this will go fairly smoothly because Wix 402 finally was released. It was released a day later than I said we probably would do. I said we'd do September 12th because that was a Tuesday, because why not Tuesday? It's like a week ago from today. Uh, it slipped a day. Um, that slip was due to getting the signing infrastructure updated. Um, I want to be very clear. This was not a .NET Foundations thing. I, when I went into it, I thought I had all the secrets um, to get to the new tooling. And it turns out I did not have all the secrets that I needed. So I had to follow up with them. And it turns out we had to get on board and stuff like that. So communication between noting that the secrets that we had were not the secrets that we needed uh, to get this signing infrastructure updated was kind of a blip, but otherwise they were very responsive. It just took an extra day to get all that stuff together. And Wix 402 is out there. Wix 402 is just some small, uh, small set of bug fixes uh, for some of the Fire Giant customers and a couple of bad things that we picked up along the way. Uh, but it's out there. You pick it up. It's that much better than 401. I don't know if there's anything in there that I'm like, ooh, ooh, you really, really must get this if you haven't hit yeah. it. Right? It's kind of like, if you hit it, yeah, I pick this one up. And you should, because if you hit one of those issues, you'll have better error messages or just better handling of things in general. But it's not like, oh my gosh, there was a strange, really big, bad thing in there. All right, and as always, hopefully that's the last four release can will be focused on five. Uh, and Bob has already sent out like a gazillion PRs and for all the stuff he's doing and I'm trying to get caught up to do my side. So we're gonna be talking about Wix 5 more, but right now let's go do triage. Bob, you ready? I am ready. All right. Da -da -da -da. So speaking of Wix 5 and this whip, um, I have started looking at this and I think the, for the default major upgrade behavior, localized error messages. Um, and this is the whole default or um, overwritable symbol, virtual symbol kind of thing here. Um, I, and I think I'm going to take a swing at it soon. And I probably will do it live. So if someone wants to, I will probably send out a thing saying, hey, I'm going to take a spike at this default, fe uh, this default, did I say feature? Default symbol, um, virtual symbols, and what that could do for here. So I'm going to do that is, soon. Are, are you reviving 90? What's that? Are you reviving 90? What's 90? Oh, yes, so, the full 90. Yes, I, I, I will. I, it's, it's, it's just on storage. But I, yeah, I'm thinking about doing a full 90 on a spike. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, I did a set of streams to start my streaming career where I basically took 90 minutes and wrote code for an hour and a half and people could watch. Um, and they were usually, I think they were all fixing bugs and wicks or doing doc idwix and things like that. So it was a really deep dives into various portions of the Wix tool set, uh, which are interesting if you wanna know how the internals of Wix do it. And I think it might be fun to go do that um, at some point, or just break it out and do a spike and say, hey, how far can I get with this default, uh, this default symbol, not default symbol, I keep saying default symbol, um, overridable symbol or virtual symbol. I have to figure out what I'm gonna name it too and how it works. Anyway. That's half the battle. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. So I uh, have some interesting ideas there. Anyway, it'd be fun, but I'm I am close to doing that. Just need to finish up a couple more things here. So that is 7605. Don't want to go away because I'm still working on it. Clearly, it's in my brain. All right, 7708. Build output type was ignored. This was uh, frustrating to me because I was trying to use this for something, and it didn't work. So I went and uh, fixed it. Um, in the binder so that now output type is not ignored. It is now paid attention to. That was a double and negative in a sort. Um, anyway, so 
output type now does a thing and you can actually use it for useful things. So that was a uh, nice, it was just, it wasn't passed down in the end. It was, you could pass it in, it, it flowed for a bunch of things and then did not get passed to the one place where it needed to be. So that's uh, the problem when you have a build pipeline, sometimes yeah. it get caught. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was just like ignored. I don't know what this, it was, it was frustrating. So anyway, wired in, it was a small fix. You can see it, pull requests are already out there. It's already fixed. It's good to go. Okay. This came up from last week, I think. Uh, 7709, evaluate potential for good error messages when mixing Wix 4 and 5 extensions. I think we, this is mostly like, we need to go verify that this does what we want it to do. Yeah, or whatever happens. Well, we have an existing case that we discussed about the, the firewall extension. Yeah, and I haven't looked at that one enough to know exactly what's happening there, but it was the thing I think that triggered the thought that this needs to be good, whatever that yeah. means. If it can be. Uh, we need to do something. So um, go ahead and give this to me. I need to go sit and try this and then decide how good an error message is or what do we get? How, how good can we make this? Four ways, four ways, five. Mixing. Which you can't actually do. So we just have, although you can't mix them in the same no. project, but we need to figure out what happens if you have a solution that mixes Wix 4 project, a Wix 4 and a Wix 5 project and things like that. The stuff we're gonna have to figure out there. Well, no, this this was specifically about the wh wh when you bring the firewall extension in. This comes back to the okay. We do we you know we have an extension that is not backward compatible with Wix for authoring breaking changes, so we rev it, but we don't rev anything else. Can we do that? given that we almost certainly will have breaking changes in extensibility in five. Yeah, and yeah, but because of the interfaces, because of versioning, I am confident that we will have this problem for all extensions. None of the, none of the five extensions could be loaded in Wix 4, and none of the Wix 4 extensions could be loaded in five unless we really want to try to make that happen. And I'm not really interested in trying to make that happen right now. So it's a matter of if you do that, what do you get? Do you get a weird .NET load you know type exception or do you get right, something that right. we're like oh oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah no <laughs> that's a four extension this is wix 5 these don't mix please upload upgrade your extension to the wix 5 version some error message in that vein of the space because they're definitely not going to be able to load a four extension in wix 5 like that's not something we're trying to do right now maybe in the future we'll get to a point where it's all stable and we can do that but we're not there or near there right now near there we're actually on the path to that but we're not there yet so anyway i will look at that and figure out how good an error message can we do that oh seven seven two four um this is more of an adventure than it needs to be um teaching someone how to use the github editor after complaining in the end do i have the root cause yeah all right so i looked at this enough to go what is going on here um, and the root issue is that if you end up with an XE package that doesn't end up with a file name of some sort, either through source file or through the file name, you can sneak through all the different checks and all the handling around is remote and is local and it's way more complicated than it. It's really complicated. It looks really simple from the outside. It's really complicated on the inside, handling all these different cases. And um, you end up with a crash. So we should not crash in Wix 5. Um, the workaround is straightforward and source file, and that's what the error message should have told you if it didn't slip by the error message. So um, I'll take this unless you want to take a swing at it, Bob, or someone else wants to take a swing at it, but I'm taking it. I know it. you were in this area. I, yeah, I, I not been. yeah, it's not, I, I am not looking forward to this bug because it's, it's annoying. <laughs> oh, well then I'll definitely give it to you. Oh, there, I did a great job selling that bug away, didn't I? Oh mm. man. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's when you get into it, you're like, why is this so complicated? And it's complicated because of the remote payloads and the fact that they all end up in the same space and the names that we use for some things. Or I don't know. I'm still not 100% sold on the way that we did package the payload, pulling out the package payload concept right. in Wix 4. It, that still continues to create all these strange behaviors and complex authoring and so trying to get the authoring to be simpler it's just anyway this is one of those cases that slipped through because why would you do that well if you did it yeah, anyway. so 
Uh, and that is triage. I ended up with all the issues. No, yes, I did. I ended up with all of them. The build output type, wow. you can give that to me too. Why is that not assigned to me? That's strange. All of these assigned to me because this one on top, 7605, has work on my side to do it. <laughs> so, all right. Yay. It's basically coming to the point where I need to spend some time in Wix and I've not been able to do that yet. That's what I'm, I knew that was coming. Do we love this stuff? So, that's issues. I think that's it. Let's see, I hinted that this might be a quicker meeting today. I think we're done with triage. Things people want to talk about. Stuff going on. Things going out there. 402 is out there. Quick reminder. Go ahead, upgrade, update your projects. Um, it's just better all the way around. Small bug fixes. Some bigger things if you use deep integration with Wix. Um, I don't have anything else. Bob, do you have anything? Uh, well, unless you want to go look at my pull request. Not right now. But yeah, we I probably we probably will end up getting there soon. Yeah, I, actually, I, I, another meeting where we don't have a lot to triage, or we have very little to triage, but still manage to spend forty five minutes doing it. Um, when we don't <laughs> have that. Um, it, it might be interesting to take do a you know the old fashioned pull request reviews that we used to do. Yeah, um, I, on some of the new stuff. Can I be honest with you? Please. I'm holding off on your pull request until I do the spike because I wonder if we could do some of your pull requests easier with the spike. Um, I well, certainly, certainly some of them. That is true. Yeah. I, I don't think it's true for some of the more recent stuff, but yeah, yeah, I, like the default feature, the yeah. default major upgrade, yeah, a default directory certainly. Yeah, like um, default directory is one that basically goes away with a the concept of the standard Wix. Dude, list. I was updating all this Wix three test code we had some stuff at fire giant and i kept going i wish i had default directory i wish i had default feature because it's just this code is like over yeah, and over yeah, and over yeah. and it was like the simplest thing i was like oh i could get rid of oh it'd be so much smaller <laughs> I was like every repeatedly over and over and over and over and over and over i was like oh my goodness oh my goodness so anyway um i'm feeling time anything else people have got going on out there um uh, if not, I think we call a meeting here. This is fine. This is a, uh, I don't even know how long, what are we at? 15 minute meeting? All right. No, it's less than that. Yeah. I need to hold on for a couple more minutes to get to be 15. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to if nobody has any questions. Uh, otherwise, I think we're back in two weeks. We will do this again. I'm going to really try to do the spike on the default um, symbol, the virtual symbol, the overridable symbol, whatever I end up calling that. Um, I need to name it. You need to come up with a spike. name just so you stop calling it default symbol. I know. Um, cause default symbol doesn't make any sense. It's overridable symbol or virtual symbol right, or something right. like that. It's, it's a very much like virtual symbol. Yeah. Override, but it's both. I like yeah. that name, but overridable is what people will see. Yes. They, they will see the override. Yeah. It's the, in C sharp, it's the ability to declare a function, a method virtual. And then you have to explicitly state that you're overriding that virtual in the child class. Oh man, I wish we'd done that rather than overridable. Yeah, <laughs> we could change it. No, um, but it, it, it is. It's, it's it's essentially that. Oh, you wanted to? Yep. Do you want them explicitly state that they have to override it? Sorry, was that the thing well, you wanted? No, 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 no. I the yeah. overridable equals yes. Yes, is like. Okay, I see that, but then there is there isn't the matching uh, concept. But overridable equals yes is virtual, but there right. isn't the the similar gesture in C sharp is override. Right. Right. I mean, you can say overridable equals no, or just omit it. Right. <laughs> and the like, omitting the it is like, uh, yeah, that okay, that's C plus plus, and I I came to appreciate override. Mm -hmm. In mm. C sharp, mm. so and yeah. miss it in C plus plus. So you're saying in in Wix, would you want to sit, have to explicitly state you have you're overriding this thing? I think so. I think I think that's a value valuable mm. bit of self documentation. Okay. I mean, again, you can say overridable equals no, but it's just it's the it's communicating the wrong thing. Overridable equals yes means virtual, and and the, the words align. But overridable equals no, it's sealed. 
which doesn't align with with the concepts so but uh, you know it's what would you what would you do you know yeah and i know we didn't use virtual because we were using virtual for something else on the internals of wix uh, so overwritable was a word not virtual because virtual was a thing we had elsewhere it was around the unreal and oh i see things okay. like that internal goo what? internal goo that nobody ever saw right um well enough that i didn't know what you were talking about yeah well it remember when we used bootstrap replication data to mark a table virtual or unreal yeah remember that hack so yeah yeah goofy things that yeah, goofy things. Anyway, we're down deep in the weeds of something that is probably not very interesting for most of you if you don't have the context. Um, you have to be along deep inside the tools. So I hope we've given enough time for anybody that had questions. Go ahead and drop them here. If not, we'll be back in two weeks. That would be October 3rd. Holy cow, October. Yeah, October. Oh, boy. All right, October. Um and October 3rd, and we will do this again. We'll see what issues we have up. Oh, uh, reminder, V402 is out. So if you're on Wix 4, go ahead and update to that. If you're on Wix 3, upgrade to Wix 402. Um, you should be looking to doing that. Anyway, I guess that. Until next time, you guys take it easy. Bye. Bye.